Chris, you're doing a wonderful job this evening. We will move right along with uh, case number PA 2016-01. Property located at 1611 William Street. He's requesting to rezone about half an acre from single family residential R10 to single family residential R6, which does allow both single family residences and duplexes if the lot size is big enough for a duplex. The subject property is located on at 1611 William Street on the eastern side of William Street property currently contains a single family residence. Apparently about 30 well, years ago, it was built as a duplex, but over time it was renovated to a single family residence. The property owner would like to renovate it to become a duplex. The property is in the historic district, so most exterior renovations will have to go through the, either through the HPC or through the administrative uh, I'm going to say the point of view process. Administrative review, thank you for helping me out. Sure. Either through the HPC or administrative review through James Wharton, our special projects HP plan. There are a variety of zonings in the area, R6, RM, as well as R10. There are apartment complexes to the north. There are single family residences in the neighborhood. Given the diversity of the residences in the neighborhood and the zoning, staff felt comfortable recommending approval for the request with new conditions. Thank you, Tracy. Commissioners, any questions for Tracy on this request? There being none, at this time I will take anybody in order wishing to speak in favor of this request to please come forward at this time. Anyone wishing to speak in favor of this request? There being none, anyone here wishing to speak in denial of this request, please come forward. Good evening, sir. Please state your name and address for the record. Uh, King Smith, 1608 Wooden Street, which is on the record across the street. I'm opposed to this for two reasons. If this is granted, then it will become a island or a little peninsula in the zoning on the street there that the property owner to the north could conceivably in a year or two come back and say, aha, we have this a little anomaly or this little peninsula sticking out in the middle of the block, and I would like to rezone my property next to the apartment complex to the same thing. The apartment complex is to the north at the corner of Moore Street and William Street are under duress and are affecting the neighborhood. I think this erosion will continue down the street to see what had been a nice residential street. <coughs> Secondly, I wake every morning and I look across the street. There's a giant <coughs> mud hole on that property. There are approximately, even as a single family dwelling, there are probably six to twelve people that live in that house. That the load would probably double, and I don't want to see any more erosion in the neighborhood. I think so. Anybody Thank wish, you. Mr. King's anybody here that like to have a question or a comment, Mr. Smith? Anybody here? I will add this: the house was not converted 30 years ago to an apartment because I have, or, to, or had been to a single family because I have lived in my residence for 27 years. I would guess it was probably the 40 to 50 years before it would last a two-family dwelling. Thank you, sir. Anybody else here wishing to speak in denial of this request? Anyone else here wishing to speak in denial? There being none, we will close this for the participation and commissioners any discussion amongst ourselves on this request. There being none, I will take a motion on this request at this time. I'll make a motion to recommend denial of the 
publication was presented. We have a motion by Commissioner Gladwell and denial. I'll second that. We have a second by Commissioner Raker. Any additional comments or discussion on the motion and the second? There being none, all those wishing to speak in favor of this motion, please seek by the raise your right hand. That's eight, Ms. Carmella. There being no denial, it passes eight zero as being denied.